It's the weekend finally. I need it. Roxy is watching Scooby Doo. And I'm going to go to the movies. We're going to go see Stop Motion. So that should be fun. Hey guys, so my thoughts on the movie Stop Motion. I really, really, really liked it. Um, the sound quality was chef's kiss. It was so good. I did not need to use audio description assistance um, for this movie because the sound, it just it immerses you into the movie. I really like this, but I love scary movies. It does have body horror, but before I jump into my review, um, let me go ahead and give you a quick synopsis of the movie. It's about a woman, Ella, and she has a very overbearing mother, but they're both stop motion animation creators. But her mother has really bad arthritis, and obviously you need to use your hands for stop motion, but she can't use her hands anymore. So she is the brains behind the creative idea, and her daughter is her hand. So she's basically telling everything to her daughter what to do. And she says the point in the movie because she gets really sick, she has a stroke, and she ends up in the hospital, that her daughter's nickname is Puppet. Sounds very endearing in the beginning, but... You kind of see the um, the symbolism of her calling her puppet because she also explains it point blank as well in the hospital bed. Um, but it's so convoluted regards to what's real and what's not real. You kind of descend in insanity with Ella um, as she's losing. She's trying to find herself and gain control. She loses control and she loses her mind quite literally. But I think this is a part that she just manifests with this thinking that her mom's talking to her in the hospital, but her mom's unconscious. But basically saying that she's a puppet because the mother controls the strings, and if it wasn't her, it would be somebody else. And you know what happens to the puppet when you're done with it? You put it back in the box. And I just love this movie. The sound, the, it, it makes you feel like you're having a hard time breathing like she is when she's having a panic attack. Um, you can just feel like the stop motion animation that's part of this movie, it bleeds into her real life. The animation is spectacular. I love stop motion. When I was a kid growing up, there's a lot of stop uh, motion animation. Um, it just tells you how meticulous and how painstakingly time consuming it takes to do a movie of this type of standard. So. Uh, I just was able to appreciate that art form, but just the way they used to stop animation and just kind of the ickiness and the grossness of the material she uses for her puppets. Uh, it's just love it. She's a puppet controlling her own puppets, but 10 out of 10. Um, definitely uh, one of my favorite horror movies in 2024 thus far. Um, definitely going to be in my top three. I feel, even though the year is still young. But I was really, really surprised by this movie. It's going to be on Shutter, May 31st. So if you don't want to go in the movie theater, which I think you really should because the sound is part of the layer of this movie experience. But yeah, I loved it. And you definitely should check it out, especially if you like scary movies.